สวัสดีทุกคนนะครับ and welcome back to my channel let's learn Thai with John if you want to learn more just keep on watching We've already discussed the basic Thai words and phrases. So for today, we will going to tackle about Thai alphabet. It is a very important, especially in the daily Thai conversation. So if you are a beginner, you must know first the Thai alphabet. That is very essential. Okay, Thai language has a 44 consonants. And 34 vowel. The 44 Thai consonants are divided into three level or class. We have the middle, high, and low. For today, we will going to learn the middle class consonants. In the middle class consonants, there are nine consonants. First, we have ga gai, ga gai, ga is the sound guy is the word which means chicken go guy go guy okay let's practice to write go guy consonant so ganito lang yan guys taas and draw ka lang na parang tuka na manok then baba okay next one taas next baba Another one. Taas. Then tuka ng manok. And then goes down. So that is go guy. Which means chicken. Okay. Always remember kung gusto mo siyang isulat in Thai alphabet. Always remember yung chicken. Or yung tuka ng manok para madali mo siyang may familiarize. Okay. That's it. In number two, we have jo jan. Jo jan. Jo is the sound. Jan is the word, which means a plate. Okay. Jo jan. Let us practice to write jo jan. Okay. Ganito lang yan. Circle or yung head. Taas. Another one. Head. Baba and taas. Last, head or yung circle, baba and taas. So that is jojan, which means a plate. Okay, jojan. Okay. Okay. Number three consonants we have do chada, do chada. That means do is the sound, chada is the word which means a Thai headdress okay do chada do chada but this consonants is not used anymore one we have do chada do chada and let's practice to write it okay ganito lang yan guys circle o yung head taas para lang siyang ding go kai Tuka na manok, pero ang pagkakaiba lang nila is pagbaba, then tail. Para siyang tail ng isda. Okay, next one. Circle. Tuka na manok, goes down, and tail. Okay, next one, last one, okay. Circle, taas. And then goes down and tail. So that is do chada. That means a Thai headdress. Okay. So that's it. Fourth consonant we have to patak. To patak. To means a sound. Patak. 
that means a spare. Let us practice to write to patak. Okay? So, ganito lang yan guys. Magkatulad, para mag, magkatulad lang sila ng do chada, pero may isang line lang na difference sila. So, ganito yon. Circle. Taas. Tuka ng manok. Down. Isang line. Then, another. Ayan. Okay. Next one. Circle. Taas. Tuka ng manok. Goes down. Isang line. And tail. Okay. Another one. Circle. Up. Tuka ng manok. Goes down. Isang line. And then tail. So, see the difference between do chada and to patak. Okay. Madali lang silang ma-familiarize. This is to patak. Okay, that's it. Next one, we have do deck. Do deck. Do is the sound. Deck is a word, which means a child. Okay, do deck. Do deck. Ito lang yan, guys, ha. Circle, baba, and then taas. Okay. Next one, head, baba, and then taas. Last, circle, baba, and then taas. So, yan ang do deck, do deck, which means a child, okay? Okay, that's it. So, next one, we have to tau to tau to is the sound. Tau is the word which means a turtle. Let us practice to write to tau to tau Okay. Ganito yan, guys. Para lang din siyang do deck kanina. Circle. Down, up, and parang curve dito sa may taas. Okay. Another one. Circle, down, curve, and down. Okay. Last. Circle, down, curve, and down. So, this is to tau. That which means a turtle. Okay. To tau, which means a turtle. So, see the difference between do deck and to tau. Ito lang ang pagkakaiba nila. Itong curl, curve sa taas ng to tau. Okay? That's it. Next one, we have bobay mai. Bobay mai stands for a leaf. Okay? Bo is the sound. By my is a word which means a leaf. Okay? Let's practice to write Bo by my consonant. Nito lang yan guys. May nagawa na ako dito. Circle. Down. Side. And then up and then stop. Okay? Another one. Circle. Down. Side, stop. Circle, last one. Down, side, stop. So, as you observe, ang pagkakaiba nila ni Popla is si Bobay Mai is hanggang dito lang ang line. Hindi siya nakakontinue. Unlike kay Popla is nakakontinue yung line niya. Okay? So, ayun lang guys. Madali lang siyang ma-familiarize. Ganito, pagsulat ang bo by my which means a leaf okay that's it next one we have po pla po po is the sound pla is the word which means 
fish okay po pla po pla and let's practice to write po pla consonant actually magkapariha lang talaga sila ni bobay mai ak pero may difference lang din sila okay circle down side and naka continue yung line niya hindi naka-align hindi tulad ng bobay mai na naka-align sa popla is naka continue yung line okay next one circle down side up circle down side up okay see the difference and this is popla that means a fish okay that's it last but not the least we have o ang o ang o is the sound ang is a word which means a sink or basin o ang that's it and let's practice to write o ang consonant last but not the least we have o ang o ang that means sink or basin okay ganito lang yan guys circle or yung head down and goes up okay madali lang di ba circle down and goes up circle down and goes up that is o ang so that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope this this lesson will help you to improve your Thai vocabulary. And if you have some questions and recommendations regarding for our topic, you can send me a message on my Facebook account so that I can assist you or teach you for free. Kukun mak na krab, sawadi krab. Bye bye. See you on our next video.